this Wednesday, Jungle Boy has no chance in hell of beating the FGW champion. Why? Because I have proven each and every time that I've gone out there, whether it's on Dynamite or Rampage, that I am absolute for a reason. You know, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm actually a big fan of Ricky Starks. And I'm certainly not too proud to admit the areas where he's got me beat. Ricky, you, you dress better than I do. Are you surprised? You talk better than I do. You are a fan of moi. I appreciate that. But what happens inside that ring is the part of this that I really care about. And the truth is, Ricky, that once that bell rings, you're nowhere even close to on my level. <laughs> you honestly think that you have a chance at beating me when it comes to the in-ring action of old Ricky Starks. And in case you or the rest of Team Taz or anybody else in the world has any doubt about that, well, I'm going to prove it to you on Wednesday night when I take your title. Hard times build character. Character makes you stand out. Jungle Boy, you and I, we are entirely different people. And I'm going to make that more clear to you this Wednesday on Dynamite after I beat your little ass. And then once that happens and I retain the FTW Championship, me and Hobbs, we're gonna go and beat you and Luchasaurus for the tag team titles. Absolute Ricky Starks, powerhouse Hobbs, we cannot be stopped. Over the past three years, I've become a tag team specialist. And this match with Ricky, I'm looking forward to it a lot, but really it's a cherry on top. And what he gives me is the first chance to be the man in AEW to hold two titles at the same time. Go ahead and try your luck. Because sooner or later, when me and Hobbs walk out there, side by side, tag team championship titles over our shoulder, FTW over my shoulder, I want to hear everybody bow down and kiss my Versace loafers and say, damn, you've been that man since day one.